Right here on first take, and I already don't know what the hell is going on, okay? I know the football season hasn't started yet, but we got Urkel trying to look like Chippin', Mr. Chippendales. I got Ryan Clark drinking so much water, he ain't ready to start the show because he has to run down there to the bathroom, okay? Mollywood is back in the house. I'm here. The crew is here. You know what time it is, even though football season ain't officially here yet. We are. First takes in the house. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you hear an eerie sound coming across Dallas, that's me screaming at night, wanting to get in a position to get a Super Bowl. Slant over the middle, he's tackled immediately, and the Cowboys' season's over. Remember this feeling. Allow that to be our motivation, our inspiration when we need it. I like to think that pain can be turned into something that might make us better. Pressure is privilege. My expectations are so, so high, higher than anybody's out there. But higher expectations creates higher results. End zone caught, touchdown. You wouldn't want it any other way. Good day. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into First Take. It feels kind of like first day of school. Oh, I got ready. my guys here. RC, remote, how we feeling? How we doing? Dan Orlovsky, Stephen A. Guys looking sharp. That, that, that's not a bad shirt by Ron Clark. That's not a bad shirt. A little Burberry that's not a bad. That's not a bad, oh that's not a bad shirt. That's not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not a bad shirt. That's not a bad shirt. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm being complimentary, man. What's the problem? Man, What's the problem? I'm trying to pay do the show, bro. Remember what I'm saying? Do the show. Just come I, on I, the show. I, 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 I do am the doing show. the show. Don't worry about what I'm wearing. I, I am doing the show. If if you deserve a compliment, I'm going to give it to you to show my fairness. <laughs> Welcome you know, back, in front Molly. Of America. It's so good you don't, to see you guys. How come you don't talk about my shirt? Well, why don't you? Why this, you that button, looks great. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you really button nice. up your shirt? Why don't you button up? Uh, you know, you don't have to have it that open. You know what I'm saying? But how about a taco meat that you do? Oh my gosh. We'll go with that. Are we ready we'll go to go? That. We'll go with that. Okay. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Let's All run. right. Trey Lance, the third overall pick in the 2021 draft, has played his final down with the San Francisco 49ers just two days after demoting him to the third string. The 49ers traded Lance to the Cowboys for a 2024 fourth-round pick on Friday. Here's big Jerry, Jerry Jones, on that surprising trade. Did anybody in your organization give Dak a heads up that this was coming down? No. Uh, we... Uh, 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 we didn't tell anybody until we did it. Period. There was nobody that knew it. I, we told Mike after we'd done it. Uh, but my point is, we just wanted to get it done. I can't say that I necessarily expected it, no. Um, I understand that as business. I understand that they're probably on a timeline. They need to get some done. And as I said, he felt like that strengthened this team. To be honest with you, I'm not surprised by anything anymore. Uh, he's been in this league eight years, been on this team. Uh, it's hard to say that I was surprised, to be honest with you. I just got to say one thing before I kick it to you, Stephen. You can be on a timeline, but it takes, what, 10 seconds to shoot a text real quick? Uh, tell me this. Is it a big deal that Jerry didn't consult Dak, his quarterback, or their head coach, Mike McCarthy, before making this trade? Well, I, I look at it as a big deal in this regard. Um, Jerry Jones basically said in front of the world, I don't give a damn what they think. This is about trying to do what I think is best in order to put, propel this team to heights unseen over the last 28 years. That's basically what he's saying. I mean, think about this. It's one thing not to call him. It's one thing not to text him. It's one thing, you know, not to not to email them or anything. It's another thing to tell the world that. And to tell it in a very matter-of-fact fashion, I'm the boss. This is the decision that I'm making. I can give two you-know-whats about what the hell you think. Your job is to go out there and coach if you're McCarthy. Your job is to go out there and win football games if you're Dak Prescott. Speaking of Mr. Dak Prescott. Speaking of him, because we can't forget about him, because, I mean, that's what really this trade is all about. We want to make sure, obviously, we got Cooper Rush backing him up. We got Trey Lance, who has all this potential. We can get into Trey Lance a little bit later as to what it means, because a guy like Kyle Shanahan, to be as great as he is, to basically send you packing, okay, I think that speaks volumes. But we'll get into all of that a little bit later as it pertains to this Cowboys team. I want to remind y'all something. Highest career winning percentage by quarterback since the 1970 merger to never, ever play in a conference championship game. Minimum 75 starts. Number one on that list is Mr. Dak Prescott. He's won 62.9% of his games and the brother ain't never played. 
in the conference championship game. That clock is ticking. Jerry Jones is wise enough to know it. His own literal mortality is staring him in the face. And before he fades into the twilight, he wants a Super Bowl championship. And if he's got to press buttons, if he's got to sit up there and elevate the level of competition, if he's got to nudge folks a little bit to make them feel a little bit uncomfortable, just to remind them, look, I'm watching you. I need X, Y, and Z. That's what he's doing. That's what I saw this as. And he doesn't give a damn what they think. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. All right, a couple things. One, to to make this move and not tell Dak Prescott or the coach is stupid. It's dumb. I, I don't Why? disagree yeah. with the move. for it, because, All right, so... I do not disagree with the move for Dallas. I understand the why of the move. The guy was a third pick overall three years ago. Last year, he was a starting quarterback to start the season. To give up a fourth-round pick, because he's unknown if he can play or not right now. To not tell Dak Prescott or the coach. So, the situation matters everything to me. One, Dak Prescott has missed 17 games in the last three years. Two, he's coming off his, his worst season, throwing 17 interceptions. Three, his contract hit is $60 million for next season. And four, the last two times we've watched this team lose in the playoffs, they've scored 29 total points. If this was a different situation and, and not communicating to the quarterback, it might be a different conversation. But because of all those variables attached to the situation with Dak Prescott, and we know that the pressure is incredibly high given what the contracts look like for the next season for Dallas, to do this move and not tell Dak, whether you're go you care about what he says or not, to Stephen A's point, I don't care if you don't care what he says, but he's earned the right for you to tell him what you're going to do. Molly, Stephen A, RC, he's heard me say this. So when you start playing quarterback at a very early age, one of the things you are taught immediately is this is your football team. You have to take ownership, leadership from the age of 8, 10. I don't care what it is. So you take that very real. You start to lead. This is my football team. I say this all the time. Quarterbacks are like hippos. Very territorial. This is my football team. And there's only one of us. There's multiple wide receivers. There's one of us. It's the only position in sports like this. So you start to make that a fabric of your being. This is my team. So you feel like everything that is done or, or made move-wise impacts your football team. So for Jerry Jones and the Cowboys to do this and in no way communicate to Dak Prescott it's going to happen, all you're doing is creating like doubt. Well, why would you do that and not tell me? But you don't have to ask my permission. Why would you do that and not give me a heads up? Hey, but three years ago, we're going we're gonna to trade for the number three pick of the draft, the Kyle Shanahan one. That's why I sit here and go, it's dumb because everything that's going on with Dak Prescott, it now gives just another thing that he's going to have to deal with and potentially have to hear talk about. Can I get some tissue? What's up? We, oh, we can't do that. No, 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 no. Go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead, RC, because right. you know what I'm going to do. Guys, guys, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to say this. Like, I understand that if we are in the business of feelings – in football, then that's a conversation that you should have because that's really a feelings conversation. I feel right. like this is my team. How can I feel like this is my team if you don't speak to me about decisions that are made in my quarterback room or in my locker room? But that's not real life. Right, we, we were making this because the question was asked to Jerry Jones, did you consult Dak Prescott? He doesn't have to consult Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott needs to understand that there needs to be viable options as backups for him throughout a season, whether that's injury, whether it's suspension, or whatever may happen, you're not always guaranteed to have your starting quarterback on the field. So if you can have a quality backup, a talented backup, you take him, you get him. And if you can get him for a fourth round pick, which is exactly what you got Dak Prescott for, you make that move. Are we? I think because it's not the sexy conversation, we're missing out on the bigger conversation. He didn't tell the head coach. Agree. The yeah. guy who is responsible, the guy who is responsible for making this team go, the guy who. Stay tuned for more updates and exciting developments from your favorite team. Remember, your subscription is incredibly important for us as we continue to bring you the latest news and insights about the Dallas Cowboys. Thanks for your unwavering support, and we'll see you in the next video.